Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. Today's question is, what table would you use to size the GEC? And we have to remember what that stands for. It's the grounding electrode conductor, not to be confused with bonding jumpers or EGCs, which are equipment grounding conductors. And for this, we're gonna actually head to table 250.66. And if the question or the scenario doesn't mention the type of electrode, we can use table 250.66 at face value. If it does mention the type of electrode, you can actually go back to section 250.66 and read in parts A, B, or C to see if it lists your specific type of electrode. And if not, you can use this table at face value. So go to table 250.66, start on the left-hand side, and it's based off the size of the main hots that are coming in, the size of the ungrounded service conductors. Then you're gonna make your selection either from the copper or aluminum side, and you'll select your grounding electrode conductor. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add a little bit of value to you, and you'll turn around and add value to others. If there's anything I can do to help you in life or business, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.